stampers. Today we're going to make this card. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here are the pieces we're using. Those super white, and this is cut at four and a quarter by eleven, scored at five and a half. And then we're using the Sycamore Street designer paper, and this is cut at two by three and three quarter. And then we're using a piece of pool party cardstock, and this is cut at four by five and a quarter. So we're going to use the big shot. So let me grab that. Okay, so we're going to emboss with the honeycomb embossing folder. We're going to use the pool party. And I just want about three quarters of the cardstock done or embossed. Just going to emboss that really quick. Cute. Okay, so now we're going to use the brand new, <clears throat> excuse me, the brand new silver soda pop tops. These are so cute. They, they're really a uh, real pop top, and there's two sizes. So you get a total of 16. You get eight of the large and eight of the small, but we're going to use the okay, large so one. First, we're going to use the tab one, and we're going to put our acrylics down. Let me put this one down here. Okay, so we put our acrylics down. And then what I have is a piece of thin cardboard, and this was actually from the designer paper, the Sycamore Street, and it's the back piece that kind of keeps all the designer paper really nice and straight. So then you're just going to take your edged part of your pop top, put it face down onto your cardboard, and we're just going to flatten this out. So I'm just going to run that through the big shot. And every big shot's different, so you might want to add either another piece of cardboard or even add the extra tab two, maybe. Just kind of play around with it, but this is what it looks like. Just flattens it out. So let's go ahead and move the big shot. So now we're going to use the ribbon and the button bundle. And it's the Sycamore Street ribbon and bundle package. You get both items, or actually the buttons and three colors of the ribbon. And this is in the Celebration Mini right now. We're going to use the Pool Party color. So I'm just going to put some adhesive on the back side of the designer paper. And then I'm going to wrap the Pool Party ribbon around the edge. Just like that. This right onto the cardstock. Just like that. Okay, so now for the pop tap, we're going to take the same designer paper. I'm going to use the one inch circle punch. Put some adhesive on the back side of that. And then set that right inside of the pop top. It fits perfect. You can use a dimensional too. And then for the smaller pop top, let me show you that. Smaller one. Right here, we use the half inch circle punch, and I already punched one of those out. To show you that it fits right in there. The half inch circle punch fits right inside of that. Okay, so now we're just going to take a dimensional and I'll pop this up to the card right about there. Okay, and we're going to do a little stamping. I got the stamp set called Essentials, and this is in the spring catalog right now. And we're going to use the little thank you. We're going to use the black stays on. I'm going to stamp this. I'm going to take the word window punch. Punch that out. I want to actually leave a little space over to the left so we can tuck it underneath the bottle cap here. Take another dimensional. Just in that right under. Thank you on the edge. I'm just going to slide this underneath the pop top, just like that. I'm just going to pop the pool party up on more dimensionals. You hear my husband working? <laughs> working in my stamp area, my new stamp studio. Put it in a ceiling. Okay. So then if you want, on this one, I use the Whisper White Craft Ink. Let me just show you here. This is the Craft Ink. And I just took a sponge, 
And what I did is I'm just going to kind of go over that honeycomb because I really like the looks of that. I guess I should have left the back on the dimensionals, but just kind of rub that sponge around there with the Whisper White just to kind of highlight that. Or you can even use Pull Party, make it a little bit darker to soften the edges. Then you just take your Whisper White piece and layer it right onto the base. Just like that. Isn't that cute? I love those bottle caps. So cute. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you later. Bye.